you should buy these stocks, Spotify, Netflix, and Chipotle, and I'm going to explain why. First off, Spotify. Um, Spotify is the best place for m music on the internet and the best place for music, period. Um, basically, every song under the sun is on Spotify. You can find any any and all um, music that you're looking for. Um, I think eventually everyone is going to use Spotify. Um, or it's, it's just, um, it's a growing industry, music, and I think that Spotify is going to continue to get more and more popular. Um, once people realize it's the best place to discover music, it's the best place to listen to playlists, to listen to albums, to listen to individual songs, it's just the best place. Maybe YouTube is good for individual songs or whatever, but, um, but, and that's Google, but, um, Spotify is really good for playlists, and if you want to discover music, um, Spotify is really good. Um, so I think eventually more and more people are going to use Spotify once they realize it's a, um, it's it's really fascinating to discover music on there and the things you can learn. Um, so that's number one, Spotify. Two is Netflix. Um, I think it, Netflix is going to be replacing television. Or it's going to be replacing cable pretty soon. Um, people are cutting the cords and um, switching to digital content only. And I think Netflix has really good content. I think they make better and better content every year. I've always liked their content. People, people complain about Netflix content like it's boring or generic or made for TV. I disagree. I think Netflix is really good. I think I think people don't understand Netflix. People want like superhero movies or like you know Disney cartoons or something. Well, I mean, there's other places they can turn to for that. But if you want like mature, emotionally dripping uh, material, then really Netflix is the best you can hope for. Um, it's a lot of edu educational um, stuff, and it's 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 a lot of content that I think is going to age well with time. A lot of people like, you know, maybe Disney movies when they're a little kid, and they like superhero movies when they're like a teenager, and then when they're adult, they want more serious uh, content, more more mature material, more intriguing stories, more complex characters. Complex characters, the place you're going to find that is Netflix. You're not going to find that on HBO. Well, you will find some on HBO Max. You will find some on Disney+. Plus. But the best place to find uh, complex character development is Netflix. So sort of like Spotify. I think when more and more people realize that uh, the depth of the quality of the Netflix shows, um, I think they're going to realize that uh, Netflix is a good stock to invest in because... Um, it's going to grow. People think, oh, it's already huge. Yeah, but it's going to grow more. More people are going to get Netflix when they, um, and, and, and it's going to be a good, um, it's, it's, it's a growth stock. It's not a dividend stock. It's a growth stock. And um, it's, it's something that's going to be with us for a very long time. For definitely all of my lifetime, we're going to have Netflix. It's going to be quality material to watch. And it's going to be really interesting. Are there competitors? Of course there's competitors, but there's there'll always be competitors. Netflix almost has a monopoly, and whoever has the monopoly wins. And Netflix has so much material that everyone's going to take so long catching up to them. Disney makes, what, like 10 movies a year? Warner Brothers makes, what, 10 movies a year? Whereas Netflix makes, like, what, 100 movies? No, they make, like, 400 movies a year. They, they they come up with a movie every single week on, on Netflix. Every single week they come up with with a new movie. And it, it's like, if they make like 400 movies a year now, are they as good as some other stuff? Maybe they're not. Maybe not. But I, th I think they're as good as anything. And they're pumping out quantity and quality. So that's, to me, that's everything I want in a stock. That's why I would invest in Netflix if you were looking to, for something to invest in. The third stock is Chipotle. Chipotle um, makes really good food, and if you like really good food, you should eat at Chipotle, and you should buy their stock, because um, it's, it's it, to me, eventually Chipotle is going to be as good as McDonald's, it's going to be, eventually Chipotle is going to be as, um, as dominant as McDonald's is from an industry perspective. You're going to see a Chipotle on every corner, it's going to be sort of like the new Starbucks, um, well, sort of. Or you're going to see it. 
you're gonna eventually you're gonna see Chipotle's as frequently as you see McDonald's. You want to know why? Because the quality of Chipotle is um, as good, if not probably better than the quality of McDonald's. And it's just Chipotle is a really good stock to invest in um, because the food tastes really good. And the one of the difference between Chipotle and McDonald's is Chipotle is healthy. Okay, it's healthy. So that's what you people are thinking are more health conscious in the future and they need substantial food with protein, but they also want to be healthy and they want, um, it's, 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 it's Chipotle is a stock built for the long term, And I think that's what you're looking for is something that is going to be with us for, you know, for the rest of the 21st century. And Chipotle is, makes good quality food at a good quality price. And I think that's what you're looking for, Chipotle as a stock, because it's going to expand everywhere because it's so good. You should eat there. But more importantly, you should buy their stock because it'll make you money because eventually it's going to get big. It's already big, but it's going to get even bigger. bigger. Thank you for watching. So buy Spotify, buy Netflix, buy Chipotle. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.